Hey guys, my name's Mark Ling, and in today's video I'm going to show you something that's really exciting. I'm going to show you how to make 10k per month on the internet. Affiliate marketing, if you're, um, if you're not familiar with it, it's when you earn a commission for selling other people's products on the internet. For instance, uh, you could be promoting somebody's dog training product. You could have, um, you could have an article or on your own website or on somebody else's and you could have an affiliate link special code that if somebody clicks that link where you're saying click here to visit such and such as dog training product someone clicks it and let's say they go to the dog training product and they buy the product then you get paid a commission on the sales price and that's what affiliate marketing is um, there's a lot more details to affiliate marketing and if you want to check out the free lessons uh, there are a lot of free videos at affilorama.com that will teach you all the basics that you need to know about that. What I did um, reasonably recently was I launched, in fact it was uh, last, late last year, I launched a product called Affila Blueprint. And what I'd done in order to create that product was I recorded myself building a affiliate website in a niche that I knew nothing about and I went ahead and showed a live audience how to research the niche, how to get my keywords, how to put together a website from scratch, and, and I showed them how easy it was. I put it together, I got it ranking in the search engines, um, and I did other, other things to do with pay-per-click, and I ended up, by the end of it, it was making over 500 US dollars per week in profit. Um, so, Basically, um, that was proof positive that, um, that affiliate marketing works and um, that my method works of how it's done. Now, um, assuming that you were to copy my method and build um, an affiliate site, even if you were to make, let's say, for argument's sake, let's say, to be pessimistic, that your site was um, only going to generate for you... Um, Let's say it's not $500 a week. Let's say your site does a lot worse than $500. Let's say your site only does $50 a week. Okay? Because you might make a lot of mistakes. You might pick the wrong niche. Um, you know, time can, <laughs> time can be a big factor as well. And you might find that um, later on it makes more. But let's say... Um, you were to follow my blueprint and you are only to make a site that makes $50 a week. Now, all you have to do there is make five of these websites and you've got yourself making $250 a week. And once you get to there, you're at step one of my process of getting to 10 grand a month. Now, um, after that, the next step that's in the chain, step two, just put a wee line across here. The next step is to not, don't pocket that money. That $250 a week is your leverage money. And what you do with that is you start spending it on outsourcing people to build your websites. So you, you go ahead and you, um, you use places like elance.com um, to go ahead and write your articles for you. There'll be other aspects that you'll... Um, you'll become a master at uh, in the marketing um, at, while you're building these sites and um, at the end of it uh, you'll be able to just outsource and get other people to do it for you. It's very easy, you just post a project on Elance, you get people bidding to want to do it and then you pay them and it's done for you. So this here is your leverage money and you use that to reinvest to build um, another bunch of these sites. Now. Uh, what you'll do is you'll build five more of them um, using that money. So, assuming that the next bunch of sites, you're going to be a lot better at what you're doing by then, uh, you should be making for those sites probably around anywhere from $100 to $300 a week for those sites, because you would have learned a lot of lessons um, in the, from the first few sites that you make. I normally, I normally see people making at least triple if not um, if not five to ten times when they get up to their sixth website. So um, another five sites times that by an average of let's say 
um, $200 a week. And I'm being pessimistic here. I've seen people do much bigger numbers than this, but I, I like to be realistic and assume that you might make mistakes here along the way. So five times 200 a week and you're up to 1,000 per week plus the 250 from the other sites puts you at 1,250 per week. Okay, and that's where things start to get really exciting. And at that point, what you do is you can say, right, I'm going to pocket 50% or 60%. In fact, 60% is probably a good number. I'm going to pocket 60% for myself. A big mistake a lot of people do is they pocket the whole lot and they try to do everything themselves. That's not what you should be doing if you really want to ramp things up. Now, that's one of my biggest secrets to success has been uh, outsourcing to other people. And anyway, um, so what you, what you do is you pocket for yourself about 60 or 70% and that's your money, you can spend it, you can quite possibly quit your day job on that kind of money and start going full time at this and, and really start ramping it up. But um, once uh, you get to that point where you're reinvesting money back in, that's where you start turning the websites that you've got above here into authority sites. And what I mean by an authority site is um, you, you quite often you get websites that you'll notice in a lot of niches that have anywhere from 20 to 40 articles in the website. Uh, they'll be nicely done and they'll be making the owner anywhere from say 200 to to $1,000 a week. But the thing is, in a lot of niches there is a big long tail. For instance, um, I'll just use dog training as an example. There are over... 600 breeds of dogs, there are 15 to 20 common dog problems, um, so you could be um, writing an article on how to stop your German Shepherd from digging, how to stop a Golden Retriever from barking, for instance. Um, so you multiply all the breeds by all the dog problems and you've got thousands of keywords. Uh, and the same applies for a lot of markets. Um, learn Spanish, you could have Learn Spanish in Ontario learn Spanish in Barcelona um, and other variations like how to speak Spanish, Spanish grammar lessons, that kind of thing.